Hey, good afternoon, good evening, and good morning, everyone. This is Elma, the non-tech techie. And tonight, I want to share with you, uh, not I want to share with you, but I, I am actually interviewing Adam Tran, who is the founder of AIQR Art. Now, what AIQR Art is, um, is something that merges the power of QR codes with and make it into a beautiful work of art so it really can capture your audience and as a marketeer this is something that you need to catch attention now what's so special about this is that um first of all they are now part of the microsoft startup uh, founders hub okay microsoft founders hub sometimes i forget the, the words and adam actually is also the founder of teak sale and i interviewed him a few months ago and that's how we got to know each other so at the at the behind the scenes adam and i are partnering on a lot of ventures right now and we are working closely together with some of our other projects that you don't even have uh you haven't heard of yet but anyway adam is here tonight to teach us how to do a uh you know how to make the perfect ai prompt so that uh it's what you want can come out from the ai that you are using and in case you are new here in our channel please do subscribe and hit the notification button because we are giving you tons of educational um information we are doing lives um not live streams we are doing giveaways and at the same time we give you special offers and yeah so we are here to help you simplify uh technology for you especially for people like me who are non-techies because i can't even write a single line of code and this is what we do here all right so thanks so much and hi adam how are you doing oh yes thank you emma for for inviting me to the community today. I'm so excited to uh, talk to the community again. And uh, yes, uh, actually, uh, AI era is changing too fast. So we have to yes. adapt. Yeah, we have to adapt or we will be replaced by people using AIs. So uh, I and my team already um, adapt with AI and already uh, tried to use AI from uh, the beginning when uh, it took off with ChatGPT since uh, December of uh, 2022. And then we uh, keep uh, testing new AI tools. We uh, keep updates with latest AI news. And then um, when uh, I remember in uh, April of 20, 2023, when I uh, tried to share some uh, QR art the first, some first QR art on the internet and uh, users are so interested in this uh, kind of art. So uh, I decided to research carefully and then um, recruit uh, some developers and start working behind to develop this project. And then now we have AI QR art in the public. I remember that when I started this project, I also start a group when uh, I started that group in uh, June, in June, yeah, only several members. And to this moment, when the AI QR art uh, launched to the public, we have now have more than 500 members in the group. And after uh, uh, Zoe, uh, Microsoft for the hub, we have lots of things behind that we are going to launch to the public. That's uh, a short story about AIs and uh, AI QR art. And uh, again, thanks everyone for joining our webinar today. I'm so excited to meet and to share with all of you guys again. Okay. So which one I'm here? Okay, I suddenly had two screens earlier. So thank you so much again, Ada, for the introduction. And I completely agree that, where is that? And I completely agree that right now the AI space is changing really, really rapidly. 
and in fact, um, I talked to some people in the AI. What is it I'm hearing? Okay, I talked to some people that are experts in AI and LLMs, and they said that. Um, I just want to ask this to to you because you are re you are also into this. Is it true that the LLMs right now, the Open AI language models like the Chat GPT three point five, uh, are is declining in quality? Because I heard that when they released it to the public, there was so much of rubbish that went in, and therefore there is so much rubbish that went out. And you know, it's like. Uh, the AI really depends on the input to provide quality output. That's and, right. Yeah, right. In, right. Exactly. So I heard this from not only from one, for at, from at least five people who are actually working on AI um, software. They said, "Oh, the quality has gone down so much since Chat since Chat GPT was launched to the public." So, is there any truth to that? Actually, uh, that's uh, some, uh, in my own uh, opinion, uh, that's mm. true. But okay. uh, that's the reason why we need to prove better, to get better yes. output from ChatGPT. Yes, exactly. So we need to feed in the right prompt to get the right output. It's the same as like right now, I am interviewing Adam and I can ask Adam, questions that are irrelevant to this live stream and we will have a live stream that is not providing value to you and because we ask or yeah we before this we both prepared and we talked talked about okay what are we going to talk about and therefore that helps me to ask the right question so this is like an input to the ai and the ai adam is going to give an output that is valuable for everyone so adam you are now an ai <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, uh, actually about AI, we also uh, uh, we are growing a group from uh, zero mm -hmm. members to more than uh, to this moment more than fifty uh, k members in actually in just about uh, two months when we start when we start the uh, posting and keep adding value to the group. So that the uh, the the signal that AI era is still in hold and training. So if you want to stay updated with uh, AI and ChatGPT, you can. 100% DOI our group. It's, it's a public group, right? Yeah, a public group is growing so fast. One of the, the fastest groups. Uh, uh, fastest going groups in Facebook. Yeah, that that's right. About ChatGPT and AIs. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. So now let's start the, let's start learning from Adam. So Adam, please share your screen. And we are also excited about this. Okay, so let me share my screen right now. Okay, I... There can, you go. Can everyone see my screen? Yes, we can see your screen perfectly. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, let me log in my account. Okay, so sorry, I uh, stopped sharing in uh, several seconds. So I can share my screen again. Okay, I think that's fine for now. Um, I'm sharing my screen. Okay, so can everyone see my screen right now? And oh, to yeah. uh, 
Not yet. Not yet. Okay, now we can. Okay, that's fine. Today we'll talk about how we can prompt with AI at soon in under one hour. Actually, I will say some techniques uh, for even new bees can start from zero and you still can have great results with uh, AI tools like uh, Midjourney and Stable Division. But uh, uh, during this webinar, I will focus on Midjourney because uh, it's easy for you to follow and uh, you don't need to customize lots of other uh, settings inside a st stable division. Okay, and uh, the table uh, content today is uh, first the presenter, what is journey? We will go walk through uh, some basic definition, what is table division, and compare between uh, two most popular AI uh, generators to this moment is a uh, and stable division. And uh, we have uh, uh, another tune have been launched by opening is uh, three, but um, se uh, several days before when uh, when I prepare this uh, uh, slides, I actually it's uh don't e three is not live yet. So um, uh, the next is uh, the importance of prompting, and then uh, three prompting methods. And then prompt, uh, prompting teeth and resource, and then introduction to AI QR art. And then we will uh, go to the most exciting part is uh, QA. Okay, so first, uh, and this is uh, some information uh, about my back background. I uh, start um, my online business as uh, an e commerce seller, uh, and I already uh, became a top seller in some multiple platform. Uh, from uh, Sunfrog and then uh, the chips and then uh, we started with Amazon and SCs since uh, 20, 2014 and I also the CEO and founder of uh, Facebook Candy and Melbis the number one Facebook email traders from uh, 2016 to 2020 and then now when the AI comes well we uh, quickly adapt with AIs and now become AI enthusiasts and now uh, with AI QR art, um, currently the CEO and founder of this project. Okay. And first, uh, you already heard about Midjourney. Uh, actually, it's uh, uh, most popular for newbies who want to start the, to generate your own art by prompting, right? And so, what is Midjourney? Um, you uh, actually, uh, Mission is a, a generative AI system that creates image from take prompts. Uh, you, uh, Mission use a type AI called generative adversarial networks. Uh, it uh, was launched in 2021 and gained popularity through Discord community. And uh, Mission is idea for artists designers and creative enthusiasts to quickly generate visual concepts. And you can see the image here. It actually, you, if uh, you can see that's uh, the, the icon of Bitcoin, right? Actually, this is a trending by using image, hidden, uh, hidden image to, to advertise. And you can check it's, uh, this is a trend happening on the internet. And uh, advertisers are, trying to use the trend to advertise their product. Okay, uh, so next, what is stable diffusion? Actually, uh, stable diffusion, uh, the, de uh, the development of stable diffusion was funded and shaped by the startup company uh, Stability AIs and uh, image generation model based on diffusion models. And this is a, an open source project not uh, different, um, it's different to Midjourney and um, open shop model created in 2022 and it's more stable diffusion is more photorealistic, flexible styles than Midjourney and it 
can be run locally, unlike Mizuni, which is a cloud API. Um, actually, Mizuni, we you have to use Mizuni through Discord. And uh, if you want to go deeper with stable diffusion, how to run locally, or what type of it that you can use to run your stable diffusion, you can contact me. I can help you with that. Also about set, set setting up, even when your the hardware of your computer is not very good, I have had some solution that can help you with that. Okay, and uh, to this moment, the listed versions of uh, stable diffusion is uh, stable diffusion XL. Okay, so uh, this is uh, the comparing table between Mitchell and stable diffusion. Um, we uh, the accessibility of Mission E and Stable Diffusion. Uh, we can compare pricing 10 months for basic plan with Mission E. And actually, um, even uh, my team, we we only use uh, at uh, basic plan is great enough. Actually, we have uh, 300 credits to generate with Mission E. Yeah, and Stable Diffusion is uh, open source, so it's free. So you, you can download from Lots of model from Huxing Fei, and then uh, run it locally in your computer, or uh, you can hype some server to uh, set up your stable division and run on it. Okay, about Mitsuni Astai, it uh, styled an abstract with stable division. Uh, uh, the the purpose of stable division is uh, photorealistic, so that's the reason why now uh, with AI QR art, actually we are using with stable division. And the strength of Mitoni is uh, creative uh, freedom and unique. Uh, but uh, with stable diffusion, we can control lots of things and photorealism. Uh, that's about Mitoni and stable diffusion. And uh, to be honest, if we have to compare between uh, Mitoni and stable diffusion, you can emit like uh, Mitoni is like uh, Canva. And it's a very easy and friendly user, uh, friendly to user, uh, like Canva and stable stable diffusion is like uh, Photoshop. It's uh, harder to use, but uh, it can custom lots of things, and it can actually it's more powerful if you know how to use it. So that's about Mission E and stable diffusion. Okay, and then. Uh, the next is uh, the importance of prompting. As uh, Elma already uh, uh, said with a, a story, um, a news that uh, the quality of output of, uh, like ChatGPT is uh, decreasing. But if you know how to prompt, you can still get great results. So that's the reason why prompting in any uh, large language models is very important. So uh, prompting is key to guiding AI creation in design direction. Better prompts lead to better quality outputs. And um, uh, so we miss with bad versus good prompt to demonstrate impact. And finally, Prompting is an art. Take, uh, so you can master prompt by take experience or and keep practicing with prompting. Okay, now we have uh, three prompting methods. The f number one is prompt yourself as uh, You can start from yourself by uh, uh, write and type anything in your mind to the AI tool like Midjourney. The second method is progressive prompts, and the third method is meta prompts. Uh, actually, uh, there are some other uh, prompting methods, but uh, during this webinar, I, I, uh, I'm intruding and introduce things. Uh, the three most popular methods. 
Okay. So for example, with from yourself, as uh, I'm not, for example, I'm not a native uh, English speaker, right? And uh, I can tie something like a handsome man, entrepreneurs, uh, US background, long black hair, white teeth, and uh, slash like uh, aspect radio, uh, 16 divide nine. And here the result uh, I already received from Mid Journey, right? And uh, about from yourself, uh, you have to uh, uh, learn printing fundamentals from official guys, uh, experiment, experiment with prompt phrasing and styles. Also, take a go to master prompt. And I already uh, include some uh, official document from Mid Journeys. And I'm going to share with you some things. Okay. Wow. Now we have <laughs> 21 people. Actually, we yes. wish we started with 10 and now we have more than 21. Yes. So Don't worry about that. I'll take care of it. <laughs> Focus on what you're doing. Okay. okay, so what do we do next? We are going to... Okay, okay. yeah, okay. Uh, this is uh, the uh, official document from Mitchany, uh, a prompt, what it prompts. And normally, if uh, you prompt yourself, you put only basic prompts, but we have uh, another type of prompt is advanced prompts. With advanced prompt, you can also input uh, image prompt uh, and then to the next party you can type type and we call it a uh, take prompt part and then you can put some parameters like this I like my example here I already put the parameters uh, aspect ratio 16 divide 9 yeah that's it and uh, we have another parameter list. Actually, you shouldn't remember all the parameter because uh, um, we, we only use uh, some popular, um, except you, you, you want to become an artist by using Mijani. Like uh, for me, I only uh, remember on several parameters. But uh, we have the full list here from Mijani. When you want to use any parameters, uh, you can went to this. You can go to this website to use those uh, parameters. Yeah, and also we have uh, some cheeses about Mijani. If you want to. Uh, use this, or you even can print uh, some mission edges. You can go to the group, my group. I, I will share with Elma Pina at the end of this webinar. The group with lots of AI resources. Okay, so next is another of print. Um, by the way, Anna, I'm sorry to interrupt. One of our viewers were asking if um, at the end, are you going to show us? how to use AI QR art. Sure, so sure. I will do okay. that. Yeah. So let's do that later. So let's go on with the presentation and then we, at the, towards the end, we will do the demo. Okay, so sure. we will do that. Okay, and uh, the image room, you can, okay, another uh, official document from Mission e that you can read is here. Um, you can uh, upload your own image and then uh, in the room you can yeah you can see the gif that you can uh, put like uh, the advanced room by put by importing your your own image and then type uh, type from in the next part and then uh, Put some parameters, so that's called advanced prompt. Okay, now come back to the presentation. Okay, so that's about prompt yourself. 
Um, the next method is progressive prompt. Actually, um, we can use this method uh, with ChatGPT. Uh, actually, uh, lots of us are doing like this with progressive prompt and we call uh, um, with progressive prompt. We keep prompt. We keep adjust the result until we have uh, the result that we want. Okay. And we keep building up an image over multiple prompts. Each prompt will uh, focus on one aspect. Um, but with these methods, create better results, but take more times. And I already uh, attacked a progressive prompt thing. Example. OK, uh, the most uh, interesting methods when we prompt a we call it meta prompts. Uh, actually, meta prompt. Uh, we uh, use a prompt to generate another prompt, and uh, meta prompt we create highly tailored and effective prompts. Um, are you excited that I'm going to share with you guys two meta prompt examples that you can use, you can copy and use yourself, and you can have great results. Are you excited with this prompt? I'm going to say yes. right now. Okay, the number one. Here you are, a meta prompt. You can see that it's long, right? But super. Yeah, super long, and it's very detailed. Um, naturally, uh, we can use uh, ChatGPT to generate a uh, prompt for misogyny and stable diversion. This is uh, the process, one of the process that I and my team are using daily to uh, generate from for journey and stable division. Um, with this uh, example, I can share with all of you guys, so don't, wor don't worry. And uh, do you want to take some action, take some example? And this is uh, the, the meta prompt number two. Yeah, we have uh, two meta prompts. Do you want to take uh, some examples in action with uh, chat GPT? Okay, so what you're saying right now is that we can ask chat GPT to help us prepare or create prompts, right? Mm, yes, that's right. You can mm -hmm. see that uh, we can start possible uh, with uh, the with the idea about uh, when I prove myself, uh, yeah. Actually, when I prove myself, this is uh, something that I can type, okay. And okay. we can use with meta prompt, okay. Now, we first, we need to use a meta prompt and then put to chat D, okay, like this. We can start a new chat, okay, and then put it here. I hit the meta prompt. Yeah, and now you well, we can start uh, with us a simple idea, and we will receive a better output. Possible with this prompt myself. I just need to copy, and then put the subject. Uh, actually, you can see that uh, and for prompt for next subject, uh, for regenerate the pre -pro uh, previous prompt with different words. Uh, if I return the exact same prompt, but change the app this M O H S P, uh, we have a certain uh, character for each uh, type here. Okay, now we have a longer image prompt that we can put in the Mutiny, okay, and I already opened Mutiny here. So compare with uh, uh, the prompt that I uh, type myself is a uh, sort, okay, and now we have a, a long and detailed uh, prompt to use with Mutiny. Okay, now. Now. Let's see. Yeah. 
uh, from that simple idea uh, and then uh, use Metabloom to be able to get a more detailed room to use with Mitani. And you have to wait for the final result. Actually, uh, after my uh, first webinar sharing this uh, Metabloom, I, uh, I received lots of great feedbacks about this metaprome and people are so crazy about this metaprome so uh, if you want to have great results you can try just so yeah now you can see that wow this is the result we have i think uh, with just a simple idea here and we have a uh, we use a metaprome and we have, we can have uh, some awesome images like this. <laughs> Even when you are a newbie, you can still use these methods and have your own art. Okay, and you also can train to the image to a photograph and you just need to type P and we will, we will have uh, another prompt uh, in a uh, uh, photograph style. Okay, now we have 25, so we started. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now. It's 26 now, Adam, okay. <laughs> okay, uh, actually, uh, it's uh, so we started on Pixel before. <laughs> Yeah, um, exciting. Actually, I really appreciate you guys for watching us. I know that some of you has already seen this, but for me, this is the first time and I know nothing about prompting for art. Yeah, and now we have another prompt in photograph style and okay. just need to copy and let's see in Michigan. Okay, I, I, I'm sorry that we have to transition. Oh, what happened? Okay, so it's now preparing it. But actually with the technique that you just showed me now, now i think i can start using mid journey to do my stuff that's really good okay actually definitely you absolutely can do that yourself with this uh, some technique like this you can prove yourself right yeah, because that's the thing a lot of people like there are so many prompts that are oh free 1000 ai art prompts whatsoever and they are all rubbish really it's just a waste of time i don't even sign up for any of those free prompts that i can see offered everywhere because sorry those are 98 percent rubbish so i'd rather <laughs> listen to you and this is actually what's good about this because adam is showing us the principles of writing a prompt and actually it's I wouldn't say simple, but there is actually a documentation that we have to follow in order in order for us to write the um, the prompt that is right for whatever model it is, whether it's mid journey or stable diffusion. Yeah, that's right. And uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is uh, an example. And now we have uh, a great result with uh, mid journey in uh, photograph style. With mm -hmm. uh, when we start with the uh, simple idea here when I uh, type myself, okay, and we have, we can read it without. Yeah, that, that guy is so handsome. I can start using that photo in catfish girls. <laughs> Just uh, kidding. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'm going to show, share with you guys another technique that I believe that you really like it. But for mm -hmm. this wait in 30 seconds, I have to change the, my MacBook power yeah. okay now it's ready to go 
continue. Uh, you can see that. And uh, people keep asking me how I can generate a consistent fee with Mid Journey. And I'm going to share with you guys how you can do that. Actually, my. Okay, forcible like this. You can see that. Because uh, we can't um, uh, generate directly uh, image by Mijuni uh, with our own face. So we have to use another the uh, another board, and then we have to link that board to uh, same channel with uh, on Discord with Mijuni and possible uh i uh, like uh the version one i so i can upscale the number one yeah um again uh if you like any result here you can upscale uh this uh one two three four and you also can variant uh result um if you like this style you can variant you can make variant of this uh how does how does it work? Okay, uh, for example, let's try uh, that the, the V. Okay, uh, you like this time and then click variant, mm -hmm. so it help you to make uh four other versions of uh, this image, and now it's uh, working. Okay. Yeah, and uh, U for upscale and B for variant. By the way, is that the answer to this question? How could we create a series of images with similar character face? Oh yes, I'm going to show. I'm going to show okay. you right now. It is not this one yet, right? I thought it was the answer to that question, so it's not. Yeah. Okay. You can see the okay. magic. Okay. Now uh, we have uh, some other variants of uh, uh, image number one. Yeah. Uh, different variant with uh, this image. Okay. Okay, now when you like uh, any image, you can download to your computer. Okay, first of all, I type one. Okay, now to generate consistent fee, we have to do another step. Okay, actually, it's uh, for fun. <laughs> um, we uh, you have, can you see my bottle here, my water bottle? Okay, it's Wonder Woman. <laughs> this is called Wonder Adam, I think. So. Uh, that's Wonder Adam. Okay, well, I have here Wonder Woman. Okay, and uh, we have to uh, install. Uh, it's called a face swap. You have to uh. face swap. Yes. You can, you have to install this uh, board to your channel inside a server on uh, Discord. And then uh, when you type slash here, you have a uh, that board here inside face swap. The name of that board is inside face swap. This uh, board can help you to swap face, uh, any face are uh, in any image uh, generated by Mission e or even photo that uh, you downloaded from the internet. For example, uh, I already uh, have uh, my own. Uh, selfie and I uh, uh, save uh, the name for that is Adam and now I want to train my face with the okay this one I have generated right we have generated this image and then I type we have to use inside face swap okay now you can see that 
uh, it's swap in my face and we have the result we have generated from Mizani. That's it. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't for fun, but um, you also can swap to any uh, face on the internet, like even like uh, Wonder Woman, right? And you can download any image on the internet and you can swap with your face, any character on the internet. You can swap with your face, any photo of anyone. You can swap with your face. That's, it. That's a technique that I already use uh, to generate some images like this. Now, actually, I uh, I started uh, buying uh, with me journey. And actually, you can see that's uh, Elon Musk I generated. Uh, some image with alien mask and then I swap the face to my face by using inside face one that's the technique to... okay yeah cool oh yes actually it's so funny <laughs> <laughs> but Elon Musk is is not Superman to me <laughs> okay just saying okay uh, so uh, what's next okay we have some other slide um the second is a uh, simple meta pro um so um i will send this with uh, emma so emma can send it to the community so everyone can use this uh meta pro yeah so uh, with this uh, you can try yourself meta pro number two and now another method that we can use uh, it does we can learn from team from some market lead like uh, lessica.art uh, lessica is the uh, uh, stable diffusion search engines or leonardo.ai or ideogram.ai so let me show you actually uh, lessica is like uh, the libraries of uh, stable diversion image generated you can uh, type any keyword in any niche in any business here uh, for example uh, Taylor Swift okay lots of images generated here and you can see the prompt that they already use to generate the uh, image uh, for example uh you can see this image and uh this is the prompt that uh the owner already used uh to generate this image but um they are using stable diffusion to generate this image but um you can still can learn or uh, train uh, the prompt or learn some part of the prompt and then you can use with Mitterny. So I'm sure that uh, the result with Mitterny will be different, but you can learn each part of the prompt in uh, uh, this uh, image on lessica.art. You see, there's an, this, there's an example. You can type anything like food or gym or, or anything. So you want to learn in any uh, business or, or any niche you can type any keyword here to learn about all the detail from yeah for example this one yeah for example this one you can copy from and this is the prompt to describe the uh, and to generate the image here you can copy and you can head to the uh mission e to generate your own image so that's about Lessica. Um, and we have uh, another marketplace is uh, Leonardo.ai. Uh, they have uh, their own uh, library. So you can learn from Leonardo.ai. We have another marketplace is uh, Ideogram. This is a, a trending project. Uh, I I remember that uh, they have uh, raised uh, twenty-five million dollar 
in a seed round for this project, $25 million. The founders of this project is very awesome. They have a, a long roadmap and a, a big plan with this project, ideogram.ai. You can type any keyword. You can check recently result. Yeah. Actually, if you are in a print on the main business, I bet that you have to use IOT ideogram.ai. This is a very uh, useful for print on demand. Yeah. So that's some uh, marketplace that you can learn uh, prompting by uh, type keyword in this marketplace. So uh, about each uh, marketplace or about this part, you if you have any question, you can type in the box chat so I, uh, I can answer in the uh, Q&A part. Okay, now that's about some tips and results that you can use to learn from. Okay, about some uh, deeper thing, if you have any question or you want to ask about uh, training your own AI step production model, you want to change your own LoRa model, or you want to use control or, or, or anything advanced, you can get in touch with me uh, through emails or in my Facebook. Yeah, and again, now let's go with AI Kill Art. Yay. Okay, now let's go. Um, uh, let's go with AI Kill Art. Okay, now you can see that uh, we are now in the home page of AI Kill Art and uh, all the features we, uh, we we explain in the detail for each feature here and also about the analytic features or all uh, some uh, release uh, some use case that you can use uh, your art. Yeah, and of course you can still can check out some lifetime deal and uh, you can start by locking your account. Currently, I'm, I already locked in my account. And the most important part of the uh, AI QR art is uh, this feature, QR art. You can generate any uh, QR art here. But first, um, the first step when you want to generate your own QR art you have to generate dynamic QR code first. For example, uh, yeah, I can add. Uh, you can see that you can uh, upload your own QR, upload your own dynamic QR, or you can custom my QR. But um, I recommend uh, that generate a, a dynamic QR is very simple, so you can generate yourself. Um, so you have the option to check uh, that's QR or not. Okay, for example, I uh, check this one. Okay, now for so do you, uh, if you have any link, okay, for example, let me try with this link. Uh, okay, way dot videos. For example. And then you select generate. The first step. You can see that this is uh, the dynamic QR code. So you have to uh, complete this step before you uh, go to step number two. And now you can see that we have uh, some uh, pre preset uh, in uh, reality style, in anime style, or you can customize yourself. And uh, when you customize yourself, I highly recommend that you need to watch these videos to understand about all the things, all the that you can customize here, from uh, what is Creative Chrome, Negative Chrome, 
the export ratio or you also can select uh, any motor here or you also can uh, uh, select uh, multiple multiple LoRa here yeah um the the default the default setting here we already set uh, to have uh, the the best uh, rate to to scan uh, to make the QR code can be uh, readability yeah the default setting here is uh, we already test to make the QR code can be read by uh, your phone yeah but um, if you are new to AI QR you also can start with some presets so you does need to put creative probe and negative probe and then you then click submit okay and this is for custom mind when you really understand and uh, first of all uh, with reality I already saw some uh, techniques and results before and now we can use first of all we can use uh, lessica dot to try with some problem for example uh, uh i like find something like that five for me okay. uh okay for example uh with this one with this pro you can try and test uh if uh no negative probe so you don't need to put anything okay and then you click submit uh, you also can select uh, export ratio here uh, we have a uh, more popular uh, ratio when you want to export but uh, most popular is uh, one divide one and you also can uh, then raise uh, some sample count from one to four but uh, i usually you go with one simple count okay. okay now uh, you wait for the result with the uh, add generated okay um another market another website that you can use is civitai.com uh, with civitai.com, this is uh, one of the most popular website that you can also learn from from the prompting from here. Also, uh, actually, I have to tell you that uh, this is something like very popular and very cool art, and there are lots of artists here, and then they keep posting their result on civit ai so you can learn lots of about ai art from here okay you can see that actually um you keep changing and keep stating until you have uh, your, your your design uh qr qr now you can try to scan okay now you can see that i can scan this QR code, you can see that I have tried to scan this QR code, and it link to wave dot video the link that I already posted here. Okay. Yeah, we can keep that thing. First of all, even we can add with some basic support one. Uh, when you uh, when you want to regenerate uh, QR art, but uh, same url so you don't need to customize this part this qr creation again you just need to put uh, the probe and then submit here okay first of all five for me you and everyone can try to scan the qr and now we have uh, the result here okay i have tried to scan the qr okay and after uh, generating some qr uh, you can say it on the internet on uh, social media platform like Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, or Reddit. You can download 
Rokira, you can add your own brand. Okay, for a small. Uh, I can choose. Okay, for a small, this, uh, that's for a small, and that's for fun. Okay, I can select the image and then I submit. It will be posted in the center of this okay. QR. Yeah, and then you can download your QR, and now you still can scan this QR code. Okay, so the aspect ratio for that uh, brand, uh, okay, the brand image must be one to one because I see that it was a little bit compressed. Mm, yes, mm, that's it. And now you can download your on the QR add with your brand logo. And you also can add to marketplace. And this actually this feature, we have a long plan for this feature. Okay, and you also can save to the favorites. Yeah, you can favorite any code that you like to use in the future. Okay, Let, let's stay there first. One moment. Can we go back? Sorry, Is sorry. it possible to include text like company initials, like instead of an image, for example? Um, but can you please uh, repeat your question? Is it possible to include text? Include text? Oh, mm -hmm. that's great. And the QR? Uh, actually, uh, to this moment, we we don't support inside QR, but. Um, I think that people can uh, use with Canva, but that's a great idea that we can include uh, some more steps that people can try some text in the QR, inside QR, AI QR, right? Right. Yeah, actually, that's, uh, that feature is uh, not very difficult. We can include that. Thank you, a great idea. And yeah, uh, this is from we, Ashish. Yeah. Uh, First of all, with uh, templates, this is a uh, law. We keep adding templates to this. So you, if you don't want to generate or test yourself, you can when you can go to template and you can uh, edit and change any uh, art here to your own uh, URL. Okay, for example, you are in a uh, food business, you can uh, and you like this one, you can edit this QR and you train to your own URL. Okay. First, so I keep train to way.videos and then I click uh, generate and I also have the permission to track the QR art or not. And then click generate. Okay, while well, we are generating, there's another question about the, um, the platform. Is it possible to make the QR code not square, but round? Uh, to this moment, uh, we have, uh, we are updating some other QR, uh, some other dynamic QR course. So, uh, uh, round um, QR code in not square is possible. We can do that, and, and we have some other templates for dynamic uh, QR code. And uh, actually, it's uh, will be free, so everyone can use to generate your own dynamic QR code. Okay. And the next question. So while we are waiting for it to generate. Can we upload our own image, like our custom logo, and generate the three D AI art? Um. This question, actually, uh. We already uh, post the hint about this feature that we are testing this feature, and uh, mm -hmm. we can run this feature in Q4. Uh, um, actually, it's uh, in uh, testing, but the result is not very good. So that's the reason why we we still uh, test before we launch to the public to make sure that that feature work perfectly. And uh, the image, because uh, to balance between uh, uh, readability and art is uh, need to test 
and lots of text to make sure the QR art generator can be readability, can be read. Yes, by. it can be read. Yes, very important because it may look beautiful, but you cannot get the information, then it's also no use. Okay, yeah. so yeah. let me share your screen back. Yeah, okay. now we have uh, the result. And now, again, you can check that. We have uh, uh, trained the, the, the original mm -hmm. uh, to way draw videos. That's it. So everyone uh, uh, who are using, um, who are watching our webinar, you can try to scan, and then I can show you in the analytic features right now. Please try to scan. And I have another question because I see there you have AIQR art tracking. What is that all about? Oh, yeah. So that's the feature that I'm going to share with all Oh, you. next. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I asked too early. Okay. And we have another feature in Marketplace. And uh, we will uh, run the, uh, some incentive game for this feature. And uh, we can vote for any QR art that we like. And this is a place that everyone can uh, interact uh, each other by, for example, I like this, I can vote for this. And now this is the most, and you can sort by vote or sort by or, or not. And now you can see that this is uh, this QR art is voted by four different users in the marketplace. So we have uh, some other here, and you can vote. Oh, this is awesome. Still Baker, a user. Also, I like this. I can vote for this. Uh, that's about marketplace feature. And uh, now we go to, OK, when you have a license, you can go here to activate the license. And we have the dashboard here. Uh, with all the details, information from sub account. Uh, we also can see the analytics of each separated QR art. You can see that. Okay, first of all, I see uh, Bagmati province here. And we can see all the uh, total scan, how much scan in month, top location, countries, Operating system, I went and draw or, or Windows or others. We can know their device as Samsung, iPhone, or Xiaomi. Uh, this is about the analytic feature, and this is for uh, for one separated uh, QR. Uh, we also have uh, the combine of all QR art. So. You can see that total scanning month and operating system, all the detail, top location and device. We we have all the detail here. So it means that in marketing, uh, this kind of information is very important to marketer, right? You can track your audience, track the demographics of your audience, right? So that's about uh, analytic features. And then, uh, of course, uh, if you like uh, AI can art, you also can refer to your friend or family, and uh, you can customize your referral URL here. Yeah, and we keep adding uh, materials for affiliate marketer. You can select this affiliate. Why we keep posting? Uh, banner, email sequence, guys, logos, or material for social media here. So you do even don't need to generate yourself. You can use uh, the uh, materials that I and my team already prepared for affiliate marketers. So that's uh, a walkthrough AI QR art. And okay, uh, do, do you have any questions? So you, you can ask me. Yes, we have questions and we will do them one by one. Okay. Um, so what is the best way to generate human face without any disformed shape? 
for AIQR art? Uh, actually, I have to tell you that even not only with AIQR art, with table diffusion, uh, with table diffusion uh, generate uh, human with face, with beautiful face is something more difficult compared to uh, generate other things. Uh, so the best way to generate human face, uh, actually to this moment we have, I have to say that we have to test, we have to test and keep on saying chai in. Okay, you want me to show your screen? Okay, we can do that. Okay, actually we have to test and keep on here until we we have the desired result. And um, another thing that you also can customize, customize. And the most important things in customize here is creativity and accuracy balance. Uh, when you uh, increase this number to maximize 20, it means that the art, um, the art, the art creativity is maximized, but the rate to scan QR code is lowest. So, uh, in uh, when you uh, decrease the uh, this setting to one, it means that the QR code can be scan easily but the art in not creativity that is so we have to balance between uh the rate of scanning QR code versus uh art so in our testing uh, between five to twelve uh in some seldom case it can be up to 15. So we need to test between 5 to 12 and some case to 15. This, this setting is very important. So this uh, setting is a balance between uh, the rate of scanning, of scanning QR code versus path. And okay. yeah, another thing that um, uh, iOS device, I mean uh, iPhone, can uh, scan your your art better. The rate of scanning your art in uh, on iPhone device is better than uh, Android device. In uh, lots of that, we can make sure that to this moment, iPhone device. So it means that because uh, I'm using uh, Samsung Android device, so I can make sure that if my device can scan, can scan that QR app, iPhone, uh, it means that iPhone users can 100% can uh, scan that QR app. So that's the reason why I already use uh, during the Q, uh, this project, I already use uh, Samsung, okay to uh, make sure that your art is working. So that's it. Okay, so let's move to Okay, another. and this one is not really a question, but a feedback to you that you have explained how to do prompting really well. So thank you, Leo. Okay. And because he said that many people fail to know the prompting techniques, not just the prompting techniques, but the prompting principles, which Adam showed us from the beginning, because the foundation knowing the principle is very important for you to really use uh to do really good ai art prompts my goodness it's so it's a tongue twister okay next uh okay please suggest what are the most crucial parameters which must be included in prompt for a refined output like aperture etc um Actually, in my uh, own experience, I uh, use uh, only aspect ratio is the most, and the other things um, to affect to the uh, quality of uh, your output, if your prompt. 
Okay. 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 And next is we have here. Okay, so the next question is how could we create a series of images with similar character face? And is okay. that even possible? I think that uh, this question has been answered before with the uh, inside face swap, right? So it's inside face web. Okay, yes, let's see. Inside face web. So the text. Okay, I think no more questions so far. That's all the questions for now. Okay, okay. let me go back and just drop something off YouTube or maybe here. Okay, so I'm just sending out the cool. link to for you to fill up so we can have a chance to win a tier one um, account or license of AIQR art. Now, I my, I have another question actually. Like the AIQR art, the what's the model you are using? Is it uh, Mid Journey or Stable Divi Diffusion? Um, the behind the technology behind AIQR is Stable Diffusion. Okay. Yeah. And uh, something before that, we uh, had to uh, train our own LoRa and mm -hmm. uh, something more, more advanced if uh, you, you uh, research about and you, right. you, you want to go to something like a uh, technology behind, you have to use LoRa and Contronet as that's mm -hmm. something behind that we are using. <laughs> But do you have any plans of using other pro platforms like Mid Journey? Because right now you said you're using SD, but can you can we have an option in the future to say, hey, I want this generated by Mid Journey, not Stable Diffusion? Ah, uh, uh, a great question. Actually, uh, to this moment, Mid Journey doesn't provide API to developers. So, to this moment. Mm -hmm. um, I have to say that it is not supported by uh, uh, Mijuni. But another uh, great thing that um, we have a uh, great, uh, a better model is a uh, uh, stable diffusion XL. Uh, we are testing that. And uh, I have to Sorry, say. Sorry, yeah, which one is the other model? Uh, the latest model. The latest version of Stable Division is called uh, Stable Division XL. Oh, Stable SDXL, right? Yeah, SDXL. Okay, so we are you are testing it now, and you will roll out what uh, yeah, uh, when it's ready. Yeah, um, it's uh needs lots of uh, hardware and uh, CPU, so uh, it uh, takes uh, longer time to test compare with uh, stable division to current uh voter stable division okay. so Steve, and what is your roadmap for aiqr art can you oh. share with us okay sure can you please uh, let me share my screen yep it's, uh, This is the roadmap that we are following. Um, yeah, and uh, in Q4, uh, AI QR Marketplace launch. We already we already launched, and even analytic features. Uh, we know that this uh, uh, feature is very important to users, so we even launched this feature in Q3, and then we have uh, the another important feature is uh, upload your own photos this is the question that uh, someone asked me for during the webinar and this is uh, our now uh, priority to this moment upload your own photos and then we have uh, the plan to launch a mobile app version in q1 2024 and then uh, actually, um, this is uh, not let it map of this 
uh, project, we have uh, even some uh, longer roadmap with AI QR art. Even we we can uh, we want to we have a plan to rebrand this uh, project. We also we want to make this become a platform to support user can sort uh, URL or lot and a lot of other things about uh, relevant to QR and uh, certain link. That's uh, something that I can publish to this moment. So that's the reason why uh, we already talk about raising fund for this mm -hmm. project and we are uh, in the process to do that. And uh, firstly, we have uh, Zoe, uh, Microsoft Fado Hub and more news will come. Passes. Okay, so what I'll do now is I will download the form uh, results. Oh, why is it only two assigned for it? Let me just check. Hey guys, are you having issues filling up the form? Mm, yeah, Ashley is asking. Oh, I did not. I did. Did I not share it on this side? Okay, I thought I did share it here. Sorry about that. Okay, so it's only the viewers in face in YouTube that were able to ask. Okay, is the um, Form. Sorry about that. Yes. I thought I sent it. That people are okay. asking to share the form. Right. Okay. So it's really there now. And sorry about that because I'm asking questions and listening to Anna and I didn't read the chat. Sorry. Okay. All right. Let me remove the screen first. Okay, so I'll give you around five minutes to um, to fill up the form. Now, while we are doing that, Adam, can you share with us your Facebook group, the new one that you were talking about today? Oh, yes, actually. Let me say my Facebook group. Yes. So what I'll do here is I'll share your screen and just go through the Facebook, uh, go to the group itself and show it to them. Oh, yes. So... You can share the screen and to the to that group as we are going. Yes. So where is your Facebook group? You can type uh, in. Uh... Oh, okay. I will do it then. One oh, moment. Yes. You can type ChatGPT and OpenAI. I know I am a member of it already. Yes, of course. I. Of course, I'm always I'm everywhere. <laughs> okay, just give me a moment. I'm retrieving the Facebook page in another browser. And it's chat it's, GPT. Uh, it's now a, a, but, uh, an open AI. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Okay. With the green banner and uh, blue banner with uh, the hand. Mm. Uh, yes, yes, perfect. I'm here now. And let me share my screen. Yeah, you can see that loss of my post there. <clears throat> okay, so this is the um, Facebook group of Adam, the, the, the one that he mentioned. Right now, it has 15,200 members. And I'm happy to be a part of it. So if you come here, Adam actually shares stuff like um, like here, we can get a free lifetime license AI tools. Uh, what what AI tools is this one that you are giving? Actually, yeah, uh, I already talked to some uh, founders about that, like from mm -hmm. Orimon. I think that you Orimon. Orimon. Okay. Flowmatic. Yeah, 
Maybe it's uh, uh, Zint. Zint. Is Zint or Zintler? Uh, LinkedIn. Uh, database. Database. Zint. Oh, the Zintler. Oh, yeah. Z the Zint L. I had a live stream with them yesterday. <laughs> so I know. And I had, uh, I am also in touch with Flowmatic. In fact, I am testing it on my uh, WordPress sites right now, and it's really awesome. Yeah. Okay. Well, what we else? What else? What else? You can reach 200 comments. Okay, I will comment now. Actually, uh, I we want AI tools. <laughs> Actually, of course, we also have uh, AI QR art. And uh, we have uh, add, uh, like uh, I remember, uh, remember that we have um, six to seven right now per month. And uh, the secret e here is all lifetime license, and this is exclusive for us. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, then let's see. So, hey, I want AI tools. Can I choose my price if I win? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. Okay. And so here we have. Uh... Okay. You can check uh, in the feature uh, feature post. We have uh, lots of useful results in the group. Feature post. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can see that lots of uh, useful results that you can use. Oh, these are very useful. Okay. So we I need to get through this. Yeah. Chat it. Did you and this AI Fire is your company as well, right? Uh, actually, uh, I'm a member of AI Fire. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So this it. We have lots of things here. So you have a lot. By joining this group, you get a lot of value. So guys, I suggest that you go for, uh, to this group. What I'll do is, so you don't have to type it up. I'll put ChatGPT and OpenAI this link to our facebook group so that you can join okay oh, yeah. so let me go back to my other screen to see if i get now more people here ah yes perfect so now thanks so much everyone and really sorry about that now i'm going to export if i did not see your name here then uh i will have to add it a bit later okay so let me Let's first start by, yeah, I am in the wrong one. Okay, so now I'm going, I'm just downloading the participants and then I will add them in the wheels of names. And then we can start our giveaway. Yes. Adam, I have a question because you have a lot of businesses. You have this TIC sale. You have this AIQR art. You are maintaining a lot of groups as well. Uh, you have an, a group for the AI art. You also have another group for the for TIC okay. sale about uh, e-commerce, right? Yeah. And drop shipping. So I wonder, how do you divide your time? How do you make it work? Actually, I have to tell you that uh, we have... Uh live stream behind me to support mm. so i can focus in uh, my best things it does so that the right. thing uh i i also have uh, only 24 hours daily as uh, everyone here and uh and but um i'm a workaholic so i can uh, uh normally i work uh 12 hours per day 12 hours per day, eh, roughly the same time for me too. I'm a workaholic too. I just couldn't stop working. Okay, so here uh, the we have 21 people who joined the giveaway. We have Abir, Ashish, Ayesha, Bunu, Godar, HM, Joginder, Krishna, Leo, Mary, Istiak, um, Prince, Rana, Rahul, Sarif, Shuvo, Sojib, Sumashikar, Subha, Sujit, and to SAR. So that's all. And I hope I did not miss anyone. So we will start the shuffle and we are going to draw three winners for tonight. Yes. Okay, so the first one. 
Okay, I already uh, I have uh, seen uh, some member in this webinar comment in the group. Right. Well, they want to watch you again. Like uh, sometimes, uh, I, I for me personally, I don't watch other live streams, and for the reason is, and the reason for that is, I want to make sure that. When I do the live stream, I have a fresh perspective. I don't want to be influenced by the previous live streams. Oh, yeah. uh, it's only why I don't watch others. Uh, okay, but I'm sure that they have watched others. So I'm sure they see uh, when, uh, some of the content is similar to the other live streams, while some of the content is not. So. Okay, now... Now we have Ayesha. Yes, sir. Huh? So congratulations, yes, sir. Huh? So, oh, Zadid, Zadid, did I um, put you in here? So let's look for, let's add Zadid. Okay, and where is Ayesha? I haven't seen Ayesha. Okay, Ayesha is there. Sorry, you cannot win twice. How come you are so lucky? <laughs> I have to remove you. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's do one more time. There you go, Soma Shikar. Okay, I think so I've seen him earlier. Shikar. I just need to write it down and then Ayesha. So thanks so much, everyone, for. Yes, you are so lucky, Ayesha, twice, twice. Just because I forgot to, re to remove your name. Wow. Did you, Ayesha, I have a question. Did you pay Wheel of Names to make your name appear here? Just kidding. Yeah, it's because I really have no idea, but it did appear twice. So I think um, so Mashikar is also there. Let me just check inside Facebook. Yes, he is there. Perfect. So what we'll do at the uh, next is, Adam, how can we claim the prizes for the winners? Okay, so um, like uh, previous uh, live stream uh, webinar with Excel. So please, um, you just need to send me the list, uh, name and email of users. So mm -hmm. our team will take the rest. Thank you. So I... Uh, Subha, Sumashikar, and Ayesha, could you please send to me the email? Uh, please create an account on, on AIQR Art. And then once you have created that, send the email addresses to me. And if possible, within 24 hours. I don't want to wait for everyone, okay? Um, and so I can submit all to Adam, and then Adam can do the activation. Because it's the thing. I am actually quite busy, and I do this on my spare time, and really to serve the community. But some could be quite like, I don't want to wait for three, four, five days before I get the accounts. Because, sorry, I, I won't let anyone wait. And if you can't do your account within 24 hours, then I would have to forfeit your win. Just um, please be considerate of my time as well. Okay? Yeah. So... And be considerate of the founder's time. So we have to be considerate with each other. And that's the reason why now I'm starting to put a time limit because some could be um, unreasonable. <laughs> 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 like they want to respond to me for five days or something and then they're still expecting to have it. Okay, so that is not going to happen. I'm not gonna wait for you. Okay, uh so. <laughs> right? Okay, so Adam, thanks so much again, everyone, and congratulations to all the winners. If you have any questions about AI prompting, Adam is actually in our group, and you can post your questions in our group. Another thing is you can join Adam's um, Facebook group about ChatGPT and AI, which I shared with you earlier. And if you have any questions about AI QR art, Adam is also here with us in our group. So thanks again, everyone. Uh, next week, we will have a live stream that is also quite interesting. And in fact, we could use both. By the way, I can upload my own QR code in AI QR art, right? Oh, yes, of course. You can use that. Because this is the thing. I can combine your application 
with the application I'm going to do next week, which is something, the tool that I use for lead magnets. So for example, I have an ebook and I want to share that. So instead of sharing a link to my ebook, I want yeah. to share a QR code of my ebook. And um, the other one is storing my ebooks in one place. Oh, that's so right. With C name and everything. So I can actually combine all the tools that I have or that and this is the reason why I do this. This is not really for personal gain, but it's more of, hey, I really want to inspire people, especially those that have technical challenges like me, to really start using technology and make technology work for us rather than us to work for the technology. Okay? Right. So again, until next week, and I want to see you next week because that one is a really interesting tool. It's called FlipLink, and this is what is going to revolutionize your lead magnet. And I've searched for other si similar like designer and all that, but FlipLink is actually much better in terms of distribution and how it makes it like really simple for you to do. Okay, so until next week, see you and take care, everyone. Yeah, thank you everyone. Thank you, Emma. Bye. Bye.